training. But the reality is I haven't. I've done a lot of hard, intensive training in the pool that's, that's maintained my fitness, uh, allowed me to freshen up a wee bit, and, 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 and enables me to perform in a reasonable way. So in summary, I think it's, I think it's, I suppose my approach is more classical. It's more about just converting your, your running into, into deep water running. But the main variant I've used is combining with underwater, running, underwater swimming. I think obviously you need to be careful here just to point out that, you know, you need to do that under supervision. Um, it's the old Emil's Atopic technique where he used to do his reps holding his breath between lamp posts, I think, you know. He did black, he did, he did, there was a danger he could, he could come up. So you have to be careful with this. Um, but I, I mean, I, I, I do think that um, if you are unfortunate that you find yourself in a, a situation where you're really out of the game for a few months, um, then don't lose heart, don't lose hope. You know, if you've got a local swimming pool with a deep end, forget about people looking at you, I've had, had all that over the years, just get in there and work hard. And if you do work hard and you keep the intensity going, you'll come out the other end, not far away, not far, once you get your land legs, you come out the end up. One of the, one of the slight issues is that sometimes you're too fit for your, for your legs, so one of the, one of the issues is you can get injured, immediately re-injured. I mean, you've got to be careful because your heart and lungs can cope. When you're coming back from an injury and you're not fit enough, you do your first session, you know, you're, you're slower because you're not fit enough. But if you've, if you've done this intense type of water running training, you've got the cardiovascular fitness, but you may not have the local muscular uh, fitness strength as well. So there's, there's, you know, there's a few wee warning shots in there as well. So I hope that was helpful. We're just really trying to give you some of my experience. And it's not very technical or scientific, but a lot of the, a lot of the science does back up what we're saying. Um, so if you're injured, don't worry. Get in there, work hard, and you'll come out the other end as, as, good, as, as good as you are. Thanks. Okay, so from here... Uh,